Good morning. This is Dave Kelm. It is the Monday after Easter. If you stumbled upon this stream of consciousness, the channel on the channel on YouTube is Milk Punch. So we got home last night after a very very nice uh, Easter family get together with my in-laws and uh, my wife's family couple of aunts and a couple of uncles, three aunts, two uncles, a couple of nieces. It was very nice. Both daughters, one boyfriend. Uh, got home last night and uh, watched uh, the third episode of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, which is a Marvel uh show on Disney Plus, right? So, are you Marvel people <clears throat> or are you DC people? Uh, and if you're a DC person, hmm, I have to question uh, our, uh, um, you know, our virtual friendship. Uh, I grew up uh, with Marvel comic books, uh, the whole sort of the whole Marvel universe thing. So, here's the, here's the, it's not really so much as a question is, it's really confusing anymore. I got to be honest with you. Um, it's like <clears throat> uh, it's like the worst uh, comic book nerds have taken over Marvel and made it super difficult to uh, figure out what the hell is going on. And you know, it's it's you have to watch like you know. You have to watch YouTube videos to explain what you just watched. Instead of just like, oh, well, that's a nice story. That's a nice TV show. That's, you know, oh, I see how kind of that fits into the whole gigantic backstory of Marvel and all of the intertwining superheroes and mutants and evil villains and witches and trolls and extraterrestrials and yeah I can just see that it's okay that's kind of cool no 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 you can't do it just like that because it's it's like Easter eggs and they tuck little subtle hints about the past and about the future and about what about this person and are they really that person and this person used to be this person and it's just like what the hell it wasn't really this difficult when it was just comics, when you just read the comics, right? When I was 10 or 11 or 12 or whatever, I was reading comics, it it seemed to make kind of sense, right? So maybe maybe you just I just got older and I was like, it doesn't make any sense anymore. It kind of sort of uh, is like the sort of Star Wars lore, and I know they're all owned by Disney now. Every If it's not owned by Amazon, I think now it's owned by Disney. And it's possible that Amazon owns Disney. Is that right? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Don't, you know, freak out. Anyway, so it just is... Uh, I love the show. We watched um, we watched the last one, uh, which just the Red Witch and Vision, uh, WandaVision. Uh, we watched that last series uh, from Disney, which is also another spinoff of the Avengers and the Marvel comic universe. Uh, and it was very good. But again... Apparently, you need to continue. I should have continued to read comics after I was 12 because I've missed a lot in the ensuing 40 some years, 30 some years, 40 some years, 40 years. Uh, missed quite a bit of backstory. Quite a bit of backstory. Uh, so, anyway, do you watch the Disney? Do you watch the, uh, the Marvel shows on Disney? Are you a Marvel family versus a DC family? Uh, again, the DC universe uh, seems to be desperately trying to figure itself out. I've never been a DC fan. I've watched the movies, uh, and they just don't seem to be figuring themselves out, right? You know, now they've got this, like, some sort of four-hour director's cut of Justice League, which I'm not going to invest in because I didn't like it the first time. And everyone's like, oh, no, it's so much better the second time. No, those are also the people who liked it the first time because they like DC. So, 
they're inherently wrong. It's like being a Cubs fan. You're inherently wrong. Anyway, uh, so hope your week is starting off on a good foot. Uh, hope you have a great week. Hope you stay safe. If you're on spring break, you suck. I'll talk to you soon.